What is good, everyone? Welcome back to the game room. I platinum Street Fighter 6, and I'm here to tell you guys about my time about it. So with Street Fighter 6, I have a total of like 500 something hours in that game. And let me tell you guys something. When I first got this game last year, around the release time that it was uh, actually dropped, um, I was kind of surprised. Street Fighter 5 was god awful when it comes to its predecessor and it really uh, made a statement that they were ready to pivot into a new new way of fighting um they introduced the drive system and this new just very new engine uh not for capcom but i for street fighter in general that engine did <laughs> wonders for the for this game and it just it's so crisp it's one of the most smooth looking fighting games i've seen to date uh yes that is shots at motor combat i don't care i that game is ugh. Anyways, when it comes to Street Fighter 6, though, I had a pleasure platinum this game. Again, 500 hours. I didn't platinum it in one go. I don't really platinum my games like when I first get them. I kind of wait months and months, even a year, before I start platinum games just because of the simple fact I probably just beat the game first, get the general consensus of the game, and have my fun with the game, of course, but don't really focus on the trophies unless I get some. And then I kind of play other games, and then when I'm ready, and when I'm done, and I feel like there's this quote-unquote no games to play, I kind of challenge myself with that. Whenever I say there's quote-unquote no games to play, or I have no games to play, I go back and I think, hmm, did you really play those games? Did you really platinum those games? Or are you just saying you have no games to play because you're, you know, you don't want to play those games anymore? Now, again, I, of course I want to play the games, it's just, like, it's just that when you do all that you want to do with the game, you kind of... Are quote unquote done with it but i realized like that's why they have these trophies so that you can spend and actually play the full extent of the game so i decided to do that i'm on this like platinum trophy hunting thing and it's been pretty fun the only games that i have platinum are all three spider-man games uh so this was my fourth platinum trophy something that i actually did on my own and actually went and farmed all that good stuff so my experience with it was pretty cool at least for the, the last half that i did i can tell that if you actually start farming these it'll be very tedious but the trophies actually weren't that hard to get especially for ones like the online battles and stuff like that um i think the tournament one was the easiest for me and i think that was the hardest for a lot of people uh and just quickly entered those tournaments when it was uh the time the time frame that you had to enter them and i i got the first trophy when i the first uh tournament i got 10 matches uh that first one and then i went on and did five other tournaments and then the other other ones were kind of tedious because i had to do 20 extreme battles and then 20 online battles uh give oh my the give likes one i don't like that one come on man that one was a little much then you only get a, a limited likes like a, a limited amount of likes per day and so i had to just i was spamming likes and then it's like i stop and it'd be like wow i was okay whatever so i got that 600 likes thing um definitely the story was probably the easiest one to do uh not that hard at all but yeah in my experience with it i definitely would give it a solid like six or seven out of ten it wasn't, it wasn't hard at all i would say it was in the mid-range difficulty range i guess uh just wasn't just more tedious than anything and generally if you're playing street fighter 6 and you just play the game you you're, you're you'll get those trophies easy it's really just a play the game type thing uh because most of the trophies that they had i literally just I never did on extreme battles and I never did um, the challenge battles or the online, the old games ones. So literally I was just doing them for the first time and I was getting the trophies because I was doing them for the first time and, I, you know, I wasn't retrying it. So I don't know, Street Fighter 6 again, again, that the trophy part is not, not the game. The game to me is a 10 out of 10. If you want a, a Street Fighter game or you want a fighting game in general to get into, to kind of just... Um, catch your bearings not trying to you're not trying to do too much with the fighting game because i would say mk and tekken are a little bit more not advanced but just a little bit more uh, just a little bit more competitive in my opinion street fighter 6 is definitely competitive have you seen the tournaments <laughs> definitely competitive we're not i'm not even going to sit here and say that i'm just saying in the overall consensus consensus more combat and tekken i feel like the community is just a little bit different street fighter 6 they kind of have a better way of looking at competition to me i don't know if that sounds weird maybe i should uh, relate better but that's basically how i'm seeing it uh, street fighter 6 is a more neutral point for street fighter fans or just fans in general who want to uh, try to fight in game to kind of get in and go on the world tour a little bit try, practice a little bit in world tour and then go into battle hub and see how you fare and try fighting grounds and arcades and stuff it's, it's just a a very good um casual hub for fighting games in my opinion mk and all this stuff to kind of get into it it's more lore for mk and then it's like tekken is it really is more technical you know i i reckon new players take your time with those two games um but street fighter 6 get in there try out try out things and mess up it rewards you for messing up in my opinion street fighter 6 actually rewards you for messing up like you can mess up and be like okay i 
I know what I did wrong. That was, you know, okay, whatever. Anti air, whatever. Tekken and MK, I don't know. Sometimes it, it really just be like net code or something. I don't know. It'd it be some stuff. I'd be like, there's no way. That's just a problem with the game. <laughs> anyway, I didn't do this to really gripe about other games, but I do want to kind of compare because the fighting game uh, universe is very uh, new right now. It's in this state where we can't really, nobody's really pinpointing the top dog. Um, and I'm saying that as just a biased Street Fighter fan right now, but nobody really has pinpointed the top dog. I, I, people have a, a general consensus that it might be Street Fighter 6, but there's still big communities around MK and there's still huge communities around Tekken. I think this is one of them ages where it's like really a preference thing when it comes to fighting games now. It's like, okay, if you really prefer this, just go with this. If you prefer this, go to that. I don't know. The umbrella is kind of starting to get taken down, in my opinion. That's another discussion though. But yeah, my, my experience with Platinum in the game really brought all these thoughts to mind because I went into the game. When you Platinum these games, you actually get all the trophies. You go into the full extent of the game. You actually play the full game. And you get an understanding of what the game is. And I, I just really, I really enjoy Street Fighter Six. I have a lot, a lot of hours into it. A lot of time into it. It's one of the games I could just come on, pick up, play a few matches. I'll get pissed a little bit. Sometimes it pisses me off. But it's one of them things where I always learn. And I always get better at it. So... I really appreciate my time with Street Fighter 6 and I appreciate Platinum in this game. Let me know what you guys' experience is with Platinum in this game. All that good stuff. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time on The Game Room.